All right, everybody, here we are, Cleveland Moto. We're gonna give you what everybody asks for on the internet. I'm still trying to figure out the internet, I'm trying to figure out YouTube, and people keep asking for unboxing videos. So, because of your uh, demand and our desire to satisfy you in any way we can, we're gonna have some unboxing videos. I had a sharp knife around here somewhere. Uh, you know what, we're gonna have to use a dull knife instead. Handyman secret weapon, the Gerber tool. Let's go ahead and, Renee, why don't you toss me a package? First package, airmail apparently. Uh, this one is, uh, oh, this is, oh, so I got this for my wife. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of that. Uh, the wife and I, we just upgraded our phones, which means I upgraded to an iPhone 10. Secret uh, tech tip for you. If you go into the Verizon store, if you go into the Sprint store, the AT&T store, or any of those places, and you try to buy like the, uh, the Black Friday special they had, we're gonna give you $700 off or $300 off the phone. Well, they're screwing you because they're just gonna raise the price of your contract. And my contract was $62 a month for like 16 gig, more than we were ever using. I think the most we'd ever use was like 20%. And uh, so my wife and I each have the same contract and it's 62 bucks per, so we we're paying like 124 a month. Had we gone in on the Black Friday thing and got the new fancy iPhone 11 or Samsung Galaxy 10 that we were looking at, they would have raised our unlimited, which we don't need unlimited, they would have raised it to $120 a month per, per person. Plus, the only way to buy the phone, they don't even let you buy the phone cash outright. You had to buy the phone on a payment plan. The payment plan was 0% interest, but it's still 24 months. And then when I did the math and multiplied their monthly payment by 24, it didn't come out to the $350 discount they were talking about. The devil's in the details, folks. Really pay attention because if they're selling you something based on, oh, well, it's only X amount per month, you're not getting the whole story and you should look at that shit very carefully. So my wife is running on my old iPhone 6, which just happened to have like a 64 gig memory on it, uh, or 64 meg memory, so it's a much higher memory phone than hers was so hers wasn't even capable of getting the latest Apple update and so what we did though is we got myself a certified pre-owned and this was even through Verizon which is hilarious because their own system you can play their own system and not get gamed by going with a pre-owned phone I got a brand new condition iPhone 10 uh, that we're shooting this on right now for 500 bucks whereas the cheapest new phone I could get was $1,000. I own the phone outright, there's no payment plan. I can go wherever the hell I want with it. You can set the whole thing up online, you don't have to go to the store, and I'm still paying $60 a month for my service. And then I gave her my old phone, which you know, the battery was kind of weak, so pop a new battery in it and I get one of these fancy cases for 21 bucks, and you slide the phone into it. The battery jack on her phone was a little questionable, so her we're gonna slide her phone into there. Now she's got twice as much battery life. It's only about, meh, maybe about eight millimeters thicker than her original one. Adds a small amount of weight to the phone. She carries the phone in her purse anyway, she doesn't matter. So instead of spending $2,500 on two phones for Mr. and Mrs. Waters, or the doctor and Mrs. Waters, um, now we're spending uh, 500 bucks. I got my new phone. She's got a phone that she's totally happy with. All we needed was a battery and uh, now she's got the same amount of lifespan that I have running around. Uh, mailman, another package. Throw me something. Oh, I like it. I like it when they're girthy. This one came direct out of the rainforest of the Amazon. Uh, I love anything that comes in like that. Get some extra snow in there. Uh-oh, made in China. Uh, Moonlight blue, my goodness, what is, what is this? It just says, uh, Moonette Blue. Oh, I think I know what this is, Renee. Yeah, so we buy Japanese cars all the time. We got the Japanese, uh, the Pajero, which is the uh, two-wheel or two-door version of what we call the Montero here in America. And I got a few of them. I got a gasoline-powered V6, 3.5 liter Pajero, four by four. And I've got a turbo diesel, uh, 2.8 liter, uh, turbo diesel four by four and both of these and including my Land Cruiser they all have big giant spare tires on the back and so I thought it'd be fun to have something for the back that really sort of encapsulated our personality here at the shop and I decided to get a, a big giant uh, hoot owl tire cover for the back of the uh, for the Land Cruiser because you know when I buy these things from Japan sometimes the company in Japan will insist on putting their advertising on the back of the thing and so I thought it'd be fun to have this big owl um, Another one, just you know, discretionary income, folks. I think we might have we might have to throw down twenty dollars on that one. Next package, please. Oh, okay. 
I like the way I like the way Renee chooses the packages with such care. Uh oh, I don't know. This one I don't think is for me. I think this might be. I think this might be a sex toy for James. I'm not sure. It came from a. Uh, it came from a company called Steel Blue Cactus, which the only thing I get in my head when I think Steel Blue Cactus is I've been watching The Watchmen, and uh, there was a a ladies uh, a ladies device that was the uh, Dr. Manhattan taco trays, premium stainless steel taco trays. We're making way too much money here at the shop these days if we have stainless steel premium taco trays. Set of two. I feel bad opening James's mail. No, these are, that is straight up. This could be in any food truck in America. They are literally just taco trays. They're heavier as frig though. I mean, those are some high quality, you know what? Nobody needs a taco tray that's built to uh, mill spec standards, but apparently we do here at the shop, or James does. James, your taco trays are here. Okay. Next item. Oh man, coming at the neck on that one. Okay, here we go. We don't know who this is from. It is from some discouraged worker at the Amazon Fulfillment Center. Oh, liquid chalk markers. So this is, uh, as we have more and more of these cars around here, Renee had the great idea, rather than us printing up talking sheets like we do for the motorcycles, we'll take advantage of all the glass that's on the cars, and we're going to start lettering up the glass on the cars to tell people what they are. Because when you come into our shop in the wintertime, we've got a couple of uh, we got a couple of cars on display here in the showroom. It also keeps that uh, liquid salt corrosive off of them. Oh, and somebody was nice enough to give me a package of Godzilla stickers. Um, yeah, so there you go. We uh, Godzilla is our spirit animal, if there is such a thing. Go ahead. Oh, I'm not screwing around with that one. Uh, this one comes from our friends at. Rudlinger, all right, Rudlinger. It is. It is marked for us. Uh, cut towards your chum, not towards your thumb. All right, here we go. Yes. Oh, our service department's gonna be so happy about this. It is a variety pack of all of the body fasteners. So you know, anytime you're working on a car or a motorcycle and you're trying to pull that panel off and you hear that dreaded snap, is uh, one of these little deals like a Christmas tree fails and uh, this is a kit that we found that has all of the usual suspects um, pretty much what it looks like about 16 different varieties of body panel clip and uh, yeah and that's what you do and when you're fixing a body panel on a car or a motorcycle you're gonna see that uh, the manufacturers love these little dudes because all you have to do is drill a seven or eight millimeter hole into the vehicle and then you put this on the panel and as you jam it in it kind of goes in there and the problem is these things get dry over time and when you go to pull them off if you don't use one of these little awesome screwdriver claw dealy bobs you just pull the panel and go to tug it off invariably what you're going to do is you're not just going to break this little sacrificial bastard you're also going to break the panel which is probably irreplaceable um, that you pulled against and you get a kit like this for something in the neighborhood of 14 bucks and you get everything from the little tiny, tiny guys right here to the big bastards. Uh, so you can fix all of life's worries when it comes to body panels with one kit. So I know the guys in the service department are gonna be thrilled because we got a couple of fun little Japanese cars they're working on, but all the parts on those little Japanese cars are 25 years old, so they are brittle as hell. And every time they go to try to pull the body panel off, snap, 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 they're breaking all left, right, and center. So now we've got enough that they should be able to back in business. That's it, man. Uh, is there any other packages? Or that? I think we're out. I think that's it. I think that's all the UPS man brought us today. If you like this kind of stuff, if you think this is cool, you can let me know in the comments. And if you think it's ridiculous and it's a stupid waste of time, then uh, you and I can go sit and drink and have a beer together and talk about how YouTube and the internet in general has ruined quality um, uh, mentoring and quality skill building and skill sharing. Uh, I just think that the more I see people being called a YouTube celebrity and then people paying money to go see that YouTube celebrity, it's, it's, it's shocking to me. But I've been told that if I don't adapt to this system, that I will be deleted. So I'm making an attempt at adapting to this system and I, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So maybe together you and I can get through it or maybe you can help me understand how it makes sense to me 
Um, we had to postpone the shooting of this video for about an hour and a half because of a, an old man that came into my shop very interested in uh, discussing a BMW motorcycle we have for sale and the reason he came in is because he saw the YouTube video for the BMW motorcycle for sale. So as much as I'm sitting here grousing about how ridiculous I think it is, we were visited today by the example of why we need to have it. So here we go. I guess I, I'm starting to feel old. So uh, remember guys, even though it's winter, ride fast and take chances. Have fun out there.